Sometimes I feel like these mines just run themselves. I like to think that's thanks to me. Oh, you're finally back. I feel like you've been gone for ages. Do you know how tough this job is without an assistant? Good. Now, let's me... You look a bit different than I remembered. Did you go to Enhance? No. Now I remember. They told me they sent me someone new. Anyway, when they told me how poorly you did on your application questions, I had my doubts. But at least you showed up on time, so maybe there's hope? Well enough, chit-chat. Let's get to work. Not quite. I need you to do something much more important before you get to that. I'm expecting a personal shipment. I'm not sure why, but the last time this happened, my assistant ended up speaking to Governor Hurst about it. Now, run off and get it for me. Hm. Yeah. What a day, huh? I couldn't be prouder than to govern the UC's first major space colony. Ah, hello. Welcome. I don't usually have time to speak with random people off the street, but I'd be happy to help if it's something quick. What can I do for you? Something important, huh? Well, lay it out for me. Well then, you've been quite busy making a name for yourself, haven't you? Heard of you. Of course, how could I not? It sounds as though you have been spying on us, Governor. Not exactly spying. Word gets around and I'm one to listen when it does. I like to know what goes on in my city. So look, I admire a go-getter like yourself. You're not in trouble. Unless you make trouble. And I don't think you're the type. I know you're not really Mr. Brennan's assistant. I don't know exactly what you're up to. But I have little reason to suspect you're up to no good. So let's cut to brass tacks. What can I do for you? Oh, I know exactly what happened to that shipment. However... I suspect Mr. Brennan neglected to tell you that I'm holding it due to his immense backlog of unpaid taxes. Then again, he may be unaware. Look, I'll tell you what. I'll release that shipment for you. But I'm going to need a favor first, since you seem to be adept at keeping quiet. See, my personal spacecraft was stolen, likely by Crimson Fleet pirates. I need someone to find it. Then I need that someone to destroy it. Discreetly. I need tight lips on this. Then we have an agreement. I'll send you to the ship's last known location. Remember, not a word of this leaves this room.
Now you know I'm not as alone and helpless as you thought. So think about how you want to handle this. You've got two choices. We need ship parts to repair our busted craft drive. Hand them over along with your ship, and maybe we'll let you live. Or we dust you and take it anyway. You've got to the count of 20 before I make that choice for you. You mean to parlay? <laughs> Countdown's over. Consider my curiosity peaked. I didn't think you were a fool. I'm listening. You play your cards right, and maybe you'll figure that out. Seems reasonable. I'll think about it. Okay, okay. Enough talk. I think I'm picking up what you're putting down. I'll even help you on your way. I have an incriminating letter from Hearst himself. I'm sure it's valuable to an enterprising individual such as yourself. I don't care what you do with it. Rip it up, use it for blackmail, whatever. I'll give it to you. So long as we get to keep this ship. Deal? Smart choice. Now, I suggest leaving before our reinforcements show up. I can't guarantee they'll be as accommodating as we are. Always worth checking. Never know what you might find in their pockets. stars again, Captain.
Mark out. And we're done. Enjoy Sidonia. Sometimes it seems the UC does not. Remember, its history is tied to this place. Good to see you. I'm eager to conclude our business together. Did you, uh, take care of my little problem? Good. I'll release Mr. Brennan's shipment to you as promised. I'll even defer his taxes as a little bonus. You really helped me out of this bind. <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way, but... I hope I'm never in need of your help like this again. minds just run themselves. <laughs> I like to think that's thanks to me. My shipment, do you have it yet? Ah, yes, I'll take that. Now, um, I've probably got some important messages I need you to take care of for me while I uh, um, attend to some other important matters at hand. You'll need my password. Remember, if you reply to anything, try to mimic my style and speech patterns. You know, for consistency. Hmm. Yeah. Do you have a child or children between the ages?
Make a mistake by letting Hank go. I saw. <laughs> Good work. See? I knew having someone on the inside like that would work out. I've already put it in order for the equipment. I was going to ask you to pick it up for me, but there's a problem. One of my guys, Hank Ferraro, offered to go. I tried to tell him he'd be more useful sticking to his job here, but he insisted and he was already on his way out before I could stop him. But it shouldn't be taking this long. Just a quick trip to Gagarin and back. I'm concerned. I could use some help with this. Oh, thanks. This is a huge help. You'll be happy to know I actually carved out some of the budget so I can pay you for all of your assistance. We don't currently have much information to go on. I'd suggest checking with Sidonia ship services over at the starport first. They'd be the last person I know that's seen Hank. It's all I've got without sending you all the way to Gagarin to retrace his steps. Good luck. 